What is life without travel, and what is travel without some thrill? But no matter how adventurous you are, you don't want to vacation at a place with spiders all around or a gun-toting gangster stalking you in the street. Hence, it is very important to ensure that you have chosen a safe place to go. Welcome to Traveltastic, and today we'll be taking a look at 10 misconceptions about places that are considered dangerous. Are you a fan of our videos? Please like and subscribe to this channel, and in the comments section, comment where you plan to travel to next, and we might just make a video about it next. Starting from number 10, let's dismantle one by one the myths that scare you away from going to an otherwise wonderful destination. Coming right in at number 10 is Civil War in Zimbabwe. African nations have been historically volatile. If a cannibalistic war between tribes isn't going on, there must be a military coup on the cards. Zimbabwe isn't an exception, and after the removal of longtime leader Robert Mugabe in 2017, there was a certain anxiety about the southern African nation. The country also faced unprecedented inflation. Everyday goods now cost exorbitant amounts of money. Needless to say, it's not the best spot to have a fancy bespoke wedding. Then again, you may want to reconsider. Despite being in a state of economic ruin, Zimbabwe remains one of the most beautiful and geographically diverse countries to visit in Africa. Many tourists have said that the country's economy didn't have any effect on them, as Zimbabwe is still one of the more popular spots for travelers in the region. The gorgeous waterfalls, flora and fauna make Zimbabwe a noteworthy destination. Go there to spot the giraffes and lions. Coming next at number 9 is Narcos of Medellin. The Netflix series Narcos has hyped Medellin in Colombia as the drug mafia capital of the world. When Pablo Escobar, the ruthless king of cocaine, was alive, Medellin was a particularly violent city. It was hardly anyone's top pick as a travel spot. Although we can't say that all the violence has disappeared, we'll still argue that the situation has improved substantially. As for murder statistics, they have drastically declined in recent years. Some people even consider Medellin to be a hipster holiday destination. The city is imbued with a young entrepreneurial vibe that led to its designation as the most innovative city in the world in 2013, not to mention the exotic rainforests in the country. Coming at number eight is Creepy Crawlies in Australia. Yes, you've been watching those animal adventure shows, The Crocodile Hunter from Down Under. Well, there are many whose idea of Australia is shaped by such shows, and there is a lot of truth in their perceptions. Australia is indeed full of dangerous animals and crazy wildlife. And even if you are a huge nature guy, some encounters may seem a little too wild. While nightmares of deadly snakes, shark attacks, and huge huntsman spiders may have you rethinking this destination, Australia is overall an extremely safe place to visit. Well, ask the Aussies who feel safe there. You have no reason to fear. The media loves to share stories on gruesome animal attacks and freak accidents with nature, since sensationalism sells. However, the likelihood of you seeing any dangerous animals on your trip, let alone being attacked by one, is still highly unlikely. But when you do encounter any, do take the basic precautions and don't feed the kangaroos. Coming at number seven is terrorism in Iran. Think of Iran and you think of the crazy crowd chanting slogans and the Ayatollah issuing fatwas against free thinkers. While at least the Western media has consistently manufactured the terrorist nation image of Iran all the while you were growing up. Now you probably view Iran as the last place you'd want to go. In reality, Iran is far from the center of religious extremism that we imagine it to be. At an altitude of about 1,200 meters and against a backdrop of snow-capped mountains, Tehran may well be one of the most picturesque cities you'll ever visit. Besides, Iranians are also known for their hospitality, something you'll realize the moment you land. Of course, it's still a country ruled by a theological government, so avoid indulging in anything illegal when you're there. Coming right at number six is Street Gangs of Detroit. Can there be a place, even in the US, that is in the same danger list as Iran? 
Well, the United States is hardly uniform when it comes to tourist safety. Though most U.S. cities are recognized as among the safest and most hospitable in the world, others, like Gary, Indiana, have become internet jokes over how dangerous they are. Detroit also has a bad reputation, and it is not groundless. In fact, its decayed urban setting serves as an ideological backdrop for quite a few dystopian cyberpunk movies. Urban decay and rising poverty hides behind the famous American dream. The situation, however, isn't that bad anymore. Thanks to some recent efforts by local authorities, the crime rate has drastically declined in the past few years, and the median income is rising. Quite a few development projects are aimed at restoring the city to its former glory. Travelers who spent time there refer to it as a vibrant spot with a burgeoning local culture. But the crime isn't completely eradicated. Avoid going to the bad areas. Coming in at number five is being spied in St. Petersburg. The Cold War has long ended, but Russia still carries the reputation of a dangerous travel destination. Thanks to those James Bond movies, you feel the KGB watching you the moment you walk out of Moscow Airport. The Putin era further strengthened those notions. In reality, traveling to a big city in Russia isn't all murder houses and dilapidated Soviet structures. The country has many UNESCO World Heritage Sites and some of the most distinctive artistic styles anywhere. If you do visit, make sure to see St. Petersburg. But if you're a journalist working to uncover the shady connections between private Russian industries and Putin, we'd highly recommend against going to Russia for your story. Coming in at number four is the Republic of Kosovo. Ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply distressed by the tragedy taking place in Kosovo and in the region, which must be brought to an end. The memories of the bloody Balkan Wars are still fresh, and the tiny country of Kosovo bears the scars of it. The process of brutal disintegration of ex-communist states in the region had turned those countries battle-hardy and a bit wary of Westerners. But the region has come a long way since then. Today, Pristina, Kosovo's charming capital, is one of the safest cities in Eastern Europe. Visitors from English-speaking nations will be glad to know that almost everyone speaks the language in Kosovo even though the Republic is as foreign and distinct as it can be. Kosovo lives up to the reputation of unimaginable hospitality, which is shared by most countries in the region. It is also more affordable to spend time there than in its Western European counterparts. Coming at number three is war-torn Ukraine. Being another East European country, Ukraine shares the brunt of misinformation along with Kosovo. In fact, the ex-Soviet state actually doesn't seem to be the kind of place where you'd want to spend a relaxing week, since it is still an active conflict zone. Some parts of Ukraine are still embroiled in a battle with Russia. Far away from the conflict, however, the capital Kiev remains one of Europe's least expensive and most lively destinations. Although news channels paint pictures of dropping bombs and militias regularly invading government buildings, travelers tell stories of quaint cafes an old-world ex-Soviet charm, perhaps only matched by its sister cities in Russia. Kiev boasts of diverse cultures and features many beautiful churches and two UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Unless you are a thrill junkie, you would do well to keep away from the war zone. Coming in at number two is Lava Floods Hawaii. Hawaii, with its breathtaking beaches, rugged landscapes, dense forests, and sublime waterfalls, is the popular destination for the travel junkie Americans. But visitors are also wary about the sudden lava blasts that can happen below their feet while they are enjoying nature. While it is true that there have been many volcanic eruptions in Hawaii, presently most volcanoes on the island state are dormant ones. Of course, there's little we can do to prevent natural disasters, but if you understand the geography a little better, there's really no need for concern at all. It is a good idea to wisen up a little on what areas exactly these volcanic eruptions actually affect. Two of the most active volcanoes are located on the main island of Hawaii, also known as the Big Island. And if you are relaxing on a beach in Hawaii, you are 200 miles away from the place. And coming in at number one is Antarctica. When you think of Antarctica, you conjure up the image of an exotic snow-covered alien land. The frozen wasteland also sounds extremely dangerous as any remote place without a steady stream of supplies tends to be. If you do research, though, 
you'll find that Antarctica is gradually becoming one of the best places for adventure lovers. In Antarctica, hardly any people die from extreme weather or a lack of supplies. Do remember to bring back the tiniest bit of plastic or other disposable you use there. Care for the penguins while you see them waddling over the pristine sheets of ice. And we wrap it up here, folks. So what do you think about our list? Have you heard any other such place which has been tarnished for wrong reasons? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Traveltastic to never miss quality content just like this in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.